Uh, if we are continuing with the project Lekuti Sichas, this week is Pausha's Vaishlach, Helik Tezvov, Sicha Dalet, the fourth Sicha in Omet 224 in Lekuti Sichas, whoever has a Lekuti Sichas with them. Very Gishmake Sicha, and could understand that. I mean, it's uh, down to earth to understand, not uh, complicated. Very Gishmak. The Rebbe is going to explain what happens when a child becomes 13 years old. Then it becomes the Oila Mitzvah, it becomes a Bar Mitzvah. Why by 13? And what is 13? Connection to the Parsha is a very simple connection. Because one of the opinions, where do we learn about Bar Mitzvah by 13, is from today's Parsha, as we're going to start the Sikha with this opinion that we learned from this Parsha. Then the Rebbe is going to ask a beautiful, very hard question that by the Rabbein we see by the Bar Mitzvahs of the kids, they used to say a Maimar, or, and the Maimar would start Nas Yodam. So there is a beautiful question. We learn that from Apostolic. It says, "Shimon v'Lei v'Achidino Ish Harboi." What are you, are you coming in all of, all of a sudden with the Odom? And especially the Rebbe is going to say in the details in the Sikhe, Odom and Ish are two separate two separate walls. So either is a Ish or is a Odom. It can be a Odom by thirteen. So what is Odom here? That is very beautiful. What it means, and it's going to be a great lesson at the end. What does it mean? How to prepare a boy to bar mitzvah? And not only to bar mitzvahs, we have to know ourselves every day in our life, when we get up, what we have to do and how we have to do it. Yeah. Exactly, we're going to mention by then, yes. Shalom yes. Gorodetsky, we're going to mention by then, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be all details. Yeah, okay. In Postuk, Vaikhu, Shnebne, Yankiv, Shimon, Velevi, Achidino, Ishchab, Goyim, Azog, and Chazal, as is an in Dan Given, 13 year old. And the Rebbe brings down from the Medrash like Achtoiv and Seicheltoiv, each one has its different opinions how they were Bar Mitzvah. And don't forget one thing, that it can be that Shimon Velevi are Bar Mitzvah at the same time. Can be. Shimon was born a year before Levi. So, so Shimon was be 14 or somewhere and Levi just became Bar Mitzvah. <laughs> yeah, 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 the Shimon also, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from them learned men are royce. The one opinion is we learn that the Shlosh is a mitzvah from this from this posse. <coughs> Why is it? So the Rebbe says, Baal Tzid Gimel Shon Avet and Angerufen Ish. If you call him with the name Ish, was vice of Gadlus. Ish vice said, you know, he's not no, no more a child. He becoming a new person. The state the Rebbe brings two proof. State by by Moshe when they killed the Mitzri in Parshish Moish. So he told them, Misom Chole Ish. Ish means somebody. Who, who are you that you're telling me and doing things? And another thing we see by David Amelach when he told Shloime, the Chozak Tov Oiso Le Ish. So I see that Ish shows on something, be strong and be a man and be a, be a Ish. To say Ish, as you'd give me Shono, the Grechta to the Maile, when I'd have them. It becomes like an adult. When a godly in Seichel, on day, Riva Verta Dan Mechuyev, Bechol a mitzvah. That's why you could say that is chayev in all the mitzvahs. Um, choches can say a mitzvah. The Rebbe says although it could be as a zol zayin a bar seichel oich far yud gimel shono. That's possible. It should be a, a very smart boy. And by ten ten years old, he's also he's already he's already smart enough. He understands everything. So the Rebbe said oich far yud gimel shono. From that side, the Baal is felt the shleimus adaz ve'ergesh. We have a very interesting concept. When he becomes thirteen, he becomes Fulfilled in seichel and in feelings. He wrote noch nicht der Akore ver Gosh sein dem Teil kein Tumai dem Kima mit und sein dem noch Song. It could be that he's smart by ten years old, but to feel the richness of mitzvahs in Toiro and how to do it and has to show them in the negative not to do it. He doesn't have it yet. When it comes to thirteen, then he has it. And the Rebbe brings in the brackets proof from the Rebbe Nishmas Eden in Kuntrasat Fille. Also quotations from the Rebbe Rashab's words that it's mamish proof to our concept that we want to bring up. We see it in, in Mile Dalme. Mile Dalme means in worldly things. We see it also, not only, as we said just now, that he doesn't have the full gishmak and understanding and feeling for Toiro Mitzvah, how good it is, and God forbid if we don't do it. What's the dogma? As I feel it when the cotton fire, you give me a state good in my life for Mama Vigdule, and that's when the loss of the Rebbe Rashad, a mitzvah is a union of Mama Vigdule, a rochet man. He understands what means money. Eh? He knows, you know, other Rabbi, the Rambam says he want to teach him how to learn Torah. You start with money, you start with presents. They know what it is, a present. They know what money is. But the Rabbi says the real thing, what money means, he doesn't have it now. 
as noch weit von zu oben in See, an dem ist er Koran, und er ist wie Gott. He doesn't have the same feeling as a God knows what money means. This is in positive. Und also Jochen, dem Eber davon in Stiflus wird alles. He understands. He sees that his friend has in his house whatever he wants. And in his house there is Stiflus, there is Dalus. So he feels he knows what it means, Stiflus wird alles. Und als Gott schon versteht, er ist so. He knows that it's not good to be a poor person. Es ist bei ihm nicht wie bei der Gottel, was ist, again, die Lösung der Rebbe Rashab. Margisch, eit der Frisor, ein Schimmel, der Gottel understands more, he understands fully, what it means to be shuffle, low and poor. Der Rieber ist ja nicht verantwortlich. So, even if he's a smart boy, but 10 years old, he doesn't have the full feeling, the full understanding of what it means to do it and not to, not to do things, but El, el Chaz Vesholem not to do it. Danach, der Rieber ist ja nicht verantwortlich für seine Meins. Wir kennen ihn. He's not, he's not responsible. He's too young. He doesn't feel the rich. Our mitzvahs are good and our Torah is good. So how could you put that mitzvah on him? He's not going to do it. He doesn't feel it. When do you do it? When he becomes 13. That's a, so it's a concept. When he becomes 13, he becomes a ish and he has the feeling and understanding what means Torah. Beis, as we mentioned before, in Beis, the Rebbe is going to bring the story with the Rebbe, and then he's going to ask the question and beautiful explanation. Beis. Rabbi Yisheinu Nesheinu, Rabbi Kama Vekama Pomba Chagiges Bar Mitzvah Gizokta Gmaim Aronim Nikmut Posik Nase Odom. The Rebbe brings down in the in the footnotes number ten Nase Odom Tov Rishmem. Tov Rishmem was the Rebbe Maharash at three sons: the Razo, the Rebbe Rashab, and then Menachem Mendel. Menachem Mendel's Bar Mitzvah was Tov Rishmem. So Tov Rishmem, the Rebbe Maharash said, "Amaima Nase Odom." And also interesting to mention, uh, I don't know what the Rebbe wants to tell us, but that's the next thing the Rebbe says, that he started a lot of times in Bamor of Nasi Odom. They said it Nasi Odom, and then when they gave it to Kapi, give it out, they took off the uh, Nasi Odom in the beginning. They started with the Maimah with the uh, Union of Chassidus. Very interesting. Okay, but my simple point, they started with Nasi Odom, is the Fum Verstandig, as a Rim from Abar Mitzvah, or the Shaykh is just the Matrege from Odom. Adam was by starting the Maimah with Odom. Was is was is a echer matrei gebeder toyar ish? It's a much higher level than ish. Can we move a couple of It's explained in the chesedes. When a guy the first shame is was a man's wet with the young group. Every every man I don't know if it means uh, 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 it probably means Eden. Aid has four names that we could that we could describe in a yom yom. It brings down the description today's. No, today is Sadiq. Today is different, not today. Yeah. But there is four names. In Ayyem Yem, the Rebbe explains what is the difference between each one. So we see Odom, Ish, Gever, Enoish. There's four targets. As the first of them, all the names is the Shem Odom, was weiss of the Shlemus. Odom means the Shlemus. And it's not moving. Now comes the question. Bald, as to live here, what means the Ben Yud Gimel? Is Ginuk the Matrix of Nish? Right? It says, we learn that from the Posig, that it says, Ish, but what's the bindment of the Minyam from Bar Mitzvah with the Madrege of Odom? What are you mixing in here, Odom? That has nothing to do with that. Is Bar Mitzvah even with a lower level? When it's just Ish, it's more of a Mitzvah. So why the Rabbein would say, Nas Odom? Ois Gimel. In Ois Gimel is going to explain what is the difference between Odom and Ish. According to this, we're going we're gonna to understand it. Why the Rabbein added on the idea of Odom. The Runtashet Zvish Ish in Odom, What's the difference between Ish and Odom? Is, is the Toyah Ish, but it's just the Dagi from Seichel, what's the Shaykh to Midas, Ergesh Alev, and in them Gufes and Faran, Kamu the Kamu Matreges, these are the Shemus from the Dagi, Kum Ben Avert, Aben Eschim. As we said before, that Ish means that he's fully grown up in Seichel, that he could appreciate mitzvahs, Toyah, and appreciate also Chas Visholem if you, if you don't do it. So that means that he has Midas and he has Ergesh Alev also. And in this, there's a lot of levels in there. And the Toyar Odom, the vice, you know what, it's a very, very simple thing. You see, this is brought on a lot of times that a child has a very little seichel. That's why he gets upset with everything. The irrigation has nothing to do with seichel. When somebody comes to 13, his seichel is being developed, and that's why he could put the mitzvah on him. This is the idea of Ish. When is it becoming fully, completely, uh, developed when he's Ben Esrim. As Rebbe brings down, Everta Ben Esrim, as the aloha is that somebody has to show him passed away and he left, he left somebody 13, 14 years old, and he has a lot of fields in the song wants to go sell it. Torah says, no, you can't, you can't sell it because he's not developed completely. Somebody's going to be nice to him and uh, give him a pet on his back, so he's going to give it to him for, you know, for cheap. This is not what Torah wants. Torah wants it to be Rael, it should be a, 
a real sale and you should make the money to have from where to live. When could you do it? Limka benich seyovi is only when he becomes 20. Then he becomes the other. So we have Ishi's 13 is Ayin of Seichel and full. When is he full developed? When he's 20. The Toya Rodom Bavais of the Amaili from Seichel was his Echel from Zan Shaykh to Midas. So we have a child as Midas without Seichel. Comes Bar Mitzvah, you have Seichel that it controls the Midas. When it comes to 20, you become Seichel that it's not a Mishaykh to Midas. Seichel is that it's, it is for you. You develop your Seichel, nothing to do with Midas. You understand something, you learn something. It's a completely different thing. So he brings out here the difference between Ish <coughs> and Odom. No, them, according to what you just learned, that Ish is the development of Seichel. And Odom is when he's been completely developed in Seichel, Ayah the Midas. So no, them, we're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to According to this, the question becomes even stronger. What do the Rabbim say Nasi Odom when it's nothing to do? It's not Odom yet. It's only Ish. We came and forbidden the Maile for Odom. How do you connect something with Odom with somebody who just became 13 years old? You're, you're, you're comparing. We learn it out from Ish. And that's why, the, that's why he gets the mitzvahs because he's been, by 13, he becomes developed. The Seichel is being developed in a way that he's controlling his midas already. So how do you compare it with something that it becomes 20 and it's completely a different level? Muslim song, but the Rabbeim did say this Maima. So I have to come, I have to look what, what, what is the reason here, what's going on here. Muslim song has the Kavona Dabai is as Chochin Yonel from Nabar Mitzvah. It was a word on Ish, Ken Ish Kaloyel. The Maise of Poel is it becomes a Ish. And that's why when by him, a Mitzvah, it's Muslim song, but not the Rashpoel from Dagas Odom. When the Rabbeim said in Maima, they have intention that when it comes to Kim, a Mitzvah, he is becoming a Ish. But when we're talking about this ish, how is he going to be making the mitzvahs? You have to push in here also the union of Odom. And the Rebbe is going to explain a completely different level what it means Odom, not we complain, not we explain till now. What is Odom? How is that? Shiv Dalit is going to explain why is it not enough ish by 13, and we have to mix in Odom also how to be making the mitzvahs. How is that? The mocker from them, as his nish must be the dog if nish, where's the source? That it's not enough. Where did the Rebbe take the source? Unbelievable, the Rebbe's ideas. The Rebbe brings out that the source that you need Odom is in the same posting that we learn out, that he is having Bar Mitzvah by Ish. In the same posting, it tells us that we need Odom also. Amazing. The Mokhev from the Mizas is Nish Pasuk, the Dagev from Ish, is from the posting by Ikhru Ish Chaboy, the same posting that it says, Bnei, it says, Vaikru Shneib Me Yankim Shimon Velevi Achedino Ish Harboy. From Vaikru Ish Harboy is forcing her to come something about Odom. From Vaikru Ish Harboy, Gufe, from the Choire, is schwer. The Choire, it's not understood yet. The Hiddish was come to by a Ben Yud Gimel Shon of Osulib in Bertram of Rive Mitzvah, is not nicht in Mides nor in Seichel and Asa Shachel Mides. We just established in the previous column. That why is he becoming a bar mitzvah by 13? Because his seichel is being developed, that he understands the severity of not doing mitzvahs and understands the good of doing Torah mitzvahs. Yeah? So, it's high, so the bottom line is that he grew up in seichel. So the Rebbe is asking, does who severed about that? Was his roi to verstehen? He understands what is the precious of Torah. The male, nehmen of shirtem yoch and yachais to Torah mitzvahs, right? This is the idea why he could take the yoke of Torah mitzvahs. And we came and the Soplan and the Rebbe said there's an unbelievable contradiction in the same posse. You're telling me that he's a Ish, and that's why he's becoming a Bar Mitzvah. Now you're telling me, how do we learn that? What did Shimon Velevi do? They did the most greatest thing to show emotions. They got upset and they used use the Seichel. And Rebbe brings that in the, in, the, in the footnote number 17 star. Rei Pasha Seinu, Vaichar Loem Mehoi. They became very, you know, very in cast, very upset. And look in Pirush Rashi Vayichiv and Yankiv gave him the broches. Be'apom. So, so what is connection? It's unbelievable. Let, <laughs> yes, that's, that's what the question is. <laughs> so you're telling me that it becomes a ish, and you're telling me what did they do? They did something that it's Eipe Chaseichu. Let's see inside. And we came in the Soplan from Posik Vayikru Yishchaboy, Vayargu Kol Zohor, Vosain Toichn is a Peule, Vayikru, Vayargu, was come from, as you said, here, it's come from Toike Vamites, as to do with the heart, not with the brain. So, but we still see that the POSIC says Ish, and it says Vayikru Harboy. The Rebbe is going to take the Vayikru Harboy and transform it, not in a in of Mides in this. I'll give you just the clue what the Rebbe is going to bring. The idea of Vayikru Harboy is going to tell us the union of Mesirus Nefesh. Mesirus Nefesh has to do with Odom, 
And that's why we see in the same posture that is Taka Ish, because the Seichel is developed, is becoming Bar Mitzvah. But to start, how do you start a Bar Mitzvah boy? How do you teach him to be Bar Mitzvah? Ish Char boy. Has to start with Mr. Snafish. No, Mr. Snafish, nothing is, nothing is going to be good. Beautiful. Is the fun mashma. So what do we see from this? As the toy can cost of a cargo and talt in the hamile was his nishmuch in dargas ish. It has a it has an advantage. This idea of a harbor has something higher that it's not the dinish. Now do here where the dagger is so true by ish harboy is completing the ish. The ish is not a ish unless yet like harbor. The whole is contradicting. How could it be? The rabbi is going to explain it. The river came in the Roisland from the Posik Nishno has been given the mitzvahs while there is ish tam. Moichin, the Roich as Dagasi, Tam is enough, it's not enough. When Mimuz Oich, a rhyme, Mimuz Oich, you must have also the Mile was his Murumas in Vaikro Goimel. What is Vaikro? The Rabbi is going to explain what it is. The Mitte is very standing for both Rabbi Sen and Senum Bergigas, but Mitsu Gizokta Maima, Libra Master Nas Odom, now we understand why they say it Nasse Odom, as we just established. There's a contradiction in the post that says ish and it says like cowboy, so the is contradicting. The Rebbe says, No, this is an addition on ish that you can't be a ish as it's supposed to be unless you have the autumn, not autumn to go sell your father's uh, properties. No, this is not talking about this, about a completely different thing. The meat is very understanding for us, Rabbi Sen, the same of the Vachigas of Mitzvah. He said, The Maima Dibra Master Nasa Odom, by La Gamas, the Klolus the Kerim from Abbey, you give the Mitzvah, his Mitzvah was done there when I issue about us now. The main thing is that it becomes a, a seichel and you could understand, appreciate what means to your mitzvahs. That's why we're putting the yoke in it. That's what, mm, still, is the sale, is the sale nish gino. This is not enough. Um, you need the odom. What is it? Hashem is going to say the odom. You need the odom. What is it? 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 When you get the Moker Adin, the Chagav comes in here a very gishmak spickle that it's not so again this year, but it's very gishmak, this I say. Now, be over there. When you get the Moker Adin from the Gimel Mitzvah, you find it in three days. As I said before, when we started, that one of the opinions is that's why it's connected to the Parsha. Because in our Parsha it says, Vaikru Shnebne, Vaikru Shnebne, Yanke, Vachay Dino, Ish, Ish, Harboy. So this is the one opinion that we learn now that is that there's Bar Mitzvah. Aleph. Canal, as we just learned at the beginning, as we learned the Sarois from Nunza Posit, base, this is Eina from the Shiurim was an in Aloha Le Moisha Messinai. It's nothing to do as we established before, the Bait Gimel Shono, you're being developed. No, it's to do with a Shiur, Aloha Le Moisha Messinai. The Rebisha told Moisha Rabbeinu, when a child becomes 13 years old, it doesn't matter. He could be smart by 10 also, and he could be sometimes by 50 becoming a, uh, and, um, um, uh, fully responsible to take the Torah Mitzvahs. It doesn't matter. The opinion says, Aloha Le Moisha Messinai. What's the difference between both of them? The chilek tzvishin the tzvayi limudim loy derash that they is a slip of shinui ateva. According to the first one that we say that each the seichel is being developed and is becoming a, a man. As I say, is the teva for rov nodom. Rov nodom by thirteen they become different. As you write in your word when a godel be seichel be day loy that tzvayi. This is according to the first day. Loy that tzvayi that day is a halacha dikabdin from the shiurim halacha lemoishim esinai. There are so many things in the Torah of Echlau, there's a loch of Moshe Messina, there's no mocker in the Torah of it, just that Moshe Rabbeinu told like this, and from generation to generation it, it came over. I think one of the most, uh, one mitzvah that has the most a loch of Moshe Messina is by the film. The square and the black and uh, three squares and everything. Huh? The sheen, yeah, the sheen, why make a sheen one side, uh, if you three and one side four, because one of the interesting opinions is he mentioned that that Moshe Rabbeinu didn't know if this is a shin one two three, or this is a shin inside. Outside is four, but inside is a shin. You see it? There's three ear, either three oh. this or three ear. That's why we make four because inside you have a shin. Anyway, so we have a local Moshe Messina. Has nothing to do with you know, from the shurim. Unish with the machine at Teva. The Rebbe brings some very gishmak in the. Uh, probably in the next page. Yes, okay. The Nafkemin el Aloche. Now the Rebbe is going to bring it a beautiful thing. El Aloche, a difference between first opinion and second opinion. First opinion is that it's being developed, it's becoming a ish. Second opinion is no. Torah said Aloche la Moshe Mishnah. The Rebbe just said Aloche la Moshe Mishnah. The Nafkemin el Aloche, we weren't being noyach b'choy b'kim ha-mitzvah zayi zayin ha-mitzvah zayin ha-mitzvah. Unbelievable. When is Aben noyach being b'choy b'mitzvah? According to the first opinion that by 13 you're becoming a man, they're the same thing. 
If I say that it's Loch Lamoshim, the Rambam and Ilchas Melochim, Paskin, that Bnei Noyach have nothing to do with Loch Lamoshim and Sinai. What does it mean? If there's a thing that has a shit, let's say, Eva Menachai, as a shit, you have to eat something that you should be chayev. By them, if you ate as much as you could uh, chew it, in the swallows, chayev mise. Gzele by us, shove a prute, not a shove a prute, it's not a dinner of gzele. By them, if it takes even a half a prute, it's chayev mise. So, because they have no shiurim. If they have no shiurim, so when is it becoming for mitzvah? One of the main things that the, of the Sheva Mitzvah Bnei Noyach is the Sheva Botei Dinin. Yeah, he have used the, the Dalet of Dinin, as it, go to, it goes according to the Aleph base. From Aleph till Zion, we have the Sheva Mitzvah Bnei Noyach, as the Sefer Amin, Taimi Aminogim brings it, uh, explains it, how it is. So, if they have Botei Dinin, we'll have to go to Bezin. And this Bezin, the Goishe Bezin, the be checking the boy and say, ah, you're a little child by 13, you don't, not uh, Bochei Mitzvahs, you could do whatever you want still. Some people are going to be mature by 18, some by 15, and some of them by 10 is going to be mochev by 10. That's the difference between the first opinion and the second opinion. Let's see it inside. But she ain't going to day as the club will give me the Loch and Moshe Mishinai. It's for standing as a Benoyah. If I say it's a Loch and Moshe Mishinai, Benoyah, what they learn it not sure in the Loch of the Rambam, they didn't get the Shurim. As we said before, not even in a high, not in Zele, in a lot of more things that are Shurim, they don't have it. Is the godless clear by yet name him? Let's see what he is. If he by 13, they're going to be checked if he's bar mitzvah or not. So the rabbi says, Vov, did a month at three days by Veda Sodom. What is this two days that we learned? That one day is that they're becoming by 30, you're becoming a ish. The second opinion is that, be, that it has to do with the union of Aloha Lemoshi Messinai. What is in a void of Hashem? What does it show us? So I was going to say that in Sway, you find him in the Seder. These two things is going to show us how we have to prepare for Bible. And also, as the Atrolos are waiting for Naid, obviously it means us also every day when we get up, a new day comes, how we have to serve the Abishta. The day of Rishon, according to the first opinion, is that our Ibn Shalab Vaid al Pitam with us. Why is it becoming Bar Mitzvah? Because this Seychel is being developed in a, in a way that he understands the, the preciousness of Torah. To say it's Vivalta and Chiv, so Mikhaim Zamitzis is offering a Giteva Shlemus a Seichel with us. Because I say that it's Bar Mitzvah because the Seichel is being developed then. As when a Rota Akor on our Goshe, when he has a feeling and he has a recognition in Inyan Amitzvah, take one of him a Rot, the Mela Mitzvah. You're right? So what does it mean? Seichel. That's the whole idea of Ish. He becomes a Bar Seichel. It's verstanden because the Ronit from Zayn Avoide is in a Oiven from Tam with us. So the first opinion tells us that the avoid of a child has to be with Seichel Das. When it comes to the second opinion, Lloyd that's later, the Yober is the first opinion, the Gimel Shonamuz Mekabel Zayin of Sich, the Moil Mitzvahs, is the Loche Le Moishe Messinai. The Far, for Sazoi, is the Tzivuya Kodesh Borch, beautiful that the Rebbe brings it out. What does it mean, Loche Le Moishe Messinai? I'm not doing it because I understand. I'm not doing it because my Seichel. Why am I doing it? Tzivuya Shonamuz. The idea of Loche Le Moishe Messinai, I'm not looking at Sich, the Rebbe's look in Aloch Lemoishim Sinai, it's a yin of Tzivu Yakodish Borch, that's why I'm doing it. So, what is it? Kabbalah, Tol, Mesir Snefesh, nothing to do with development of Seichel. So, Ish is Seichel, in Odom is going to tell us the yin of Ayat and Seichel, Mesir Snefesh. Kum Toy says, I'm on it, Tzugang, Suki, my mitzvahs, is like Seder Avoid a Pun, Kabbalah, so the Rebbe brings an hour of 24, beautiful. The Gemara says in Yevomes, the Gemara, all the baiters, somebody came and he brought, he said something. So somebody asked them, another time asked them, tell me, is this your opinion? Or you're bringing an opinion from somewhere else? Or you're bringing from somewhere, from where you came from, Yeshiva, wherever you come, is it Aloche? Then, so there's a difference, what the Rebbe says. Deim Aloche, if you say that it's Aloche, Nekabu. I have no choice. If it's Aloche, I'm Nekabu. Sheim Ledin, because if you want to have an argument, if you're saying it as an opinion, Yes, sure, I could, I could refute it. I could ask you a question about it and say that you're not correct. If you're coming, you say it's aloha, nothing but to talk about. Difference between when you'd give me ish, when you'd give me odom. You'd give me ish is seichel, development of seichel. You'd give me odom is ayad and seichel. What is that? According to this opinion, that it's not a union of, uh, of a shir, it's a union of aloha, and moishe, misina, has nothing to do with the meaning of development of seichel, shows of tzibuya kodesh boch, that's why I'm doing it. Ois zayim. Oh, 
is that the Atholos avoided being given the mitzvahs, is that the time that the is going to say, that even according to our posik, that we say that is a ish. And that's why is Mechoyev the mitzvahs, even there we're going to see also a beautiful thing. We're going to see there also has to be the idea of Kabbalah Sol. From where do we see it? Vayikhu ish charboi. What is that? Mesir Snefesh. So you have Ish is Seichel, like Ruish Harbo is higher than Seichel, Mr. Snefesh, because the Rebish have one said it, Kabbalah Sol. Even according to the first day, the all opinion of the first day is why, because then Shlosh Yisrael becomes a Ish, Seichel is being developed, the Rebbe says, is out of time with us, from this way we still, from them, Gufre was me learned to stop from Vayikhu Ish Harbo, yeah? A Peule for Mr. Snefesh, that's what it is, it's Muchach, I'm forced to say, as I say, their day, even according to this opinion, that we learned out from the Posik Ish, is the reunion from Kim Amitsu Sabunt made a rabbi from Mr. Snefesh, Lemailo Minasir. A beautiful as that brings it out. Now, from the same Posik we learned both in Yonim, and it's not contradicting other rabbi. It shows you that a bar mitzvah can get ready for bar mitzvah, but getting up in the morning, what do we do? First thing is Moidani, before next. The idea of Chatrile is a bola sol, no seichel completely. And Xidis, as we learned last week, that. Um, uh, usually oidoe means praising. Apam oides Hashem by Yehuda when was born in Les Pauche. But this is saying oidoe means also Meloshen moidim chachomim lerabonon. Beetle. Moidani lefonecho is the, I'm thanking you, you gave me back my initiative. Thank no. It's like a thanking Hashem. But with that also we have another period that moide beetle mon. As soon as I wake up is moideani. And they even turn the oidol Hashem kiru bishmoide. We start oidol. So this is also I think that doesn't mean only oil praise, it means also beetle. Admitting, the word in English is admit. Uh, okay. So the Rebbe says now, I established now that in this process we have both things. So the Rebbe says, how could you say it? We just established at the beginning. That what is the idea of the is able, now you're coming and mixing me in something else? How could it be? But the Nish can still, it's not contradicting the language as Lloyd of Day is the son of the Seich that does, because Ish, by La Gamas, the Etzema avoided of Zaymit Akore, the Asoga in the name of the Mrs. The Etzema avoided when you do the avoid, has to be with Seich, as we learned last week in long, that when you learn, you have to understand that. The beginning has to be Nafshikov, or Lakol Tia, Dev Tzachli, Bibi Seich, Seich. But the Achon has to be with Bittel, but the learning has to be Davke with Seich. If you don't understand, you don't have to make him a Broch Birchas Ator. And that's when. Auto avoider, starting the avoider, the beginning of the avoider, is not a sold dafke. So it's not a spirit, what we learned before. The avoider take is ish, is the end of seichel, and the avoider at the beginning, you know, is the mailu meze. The shilamailu mitam vedas, by no bend the yesod, listen to these words, by no bend the yesod is kabola sol, can the avoider from kima mitzis mutasog is I'm missing outside. When could you avoid it be as it's supposed to be with seichel? When you start with Mr. Snapfish, when you start with the Indian of kabola sol. Oishes. Now the rabbi is going to bring. From Parshas Nitzovim, proof that it's interesting that we see the idea of that Mr. Snevish has to be the Akabala Sot, Snevish has to be the Yesod, the beginning of the Avoide and beginning of probably every day. Oishes. From the Chochas del Sot, where do we get proof? So the Rabbi says, in the Azores, a Klolios of Kim at Mitzvah State. When the Rabbi tells us about the general telling us how to guard the Mitzvahs, it says in Parshas Nitzovim, Look, I'm giving you life and good. And Rebbe said, please choose life. The Torah is a beautiful question. The man said, The Torah tells you, hey, look, and I'm looking and I see that it's good. As the Torah means, it's life and it's good. So the boss, that man, no one is going to say, What is it here? It's a, it's a, it's a double, it's a, it's a, it's a repetition. Why are you saying it? If you tell a man with Seichel, you're telling him, hey, I'm sure he's going to choose this. Why is it Bukhar to Bukhayim? Now, the view was that the Rebbe brings out the Gishmak and Biyur, and according to this, we'll understand that. Oib the when I mentioned the Torah Mitzvah, that Zayim, you said, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so what do you want? It shouldn't say Bukhar to Bukhayim. How do you going to know to choose Chaim? Because it says, so why are you choosing it? Because you see that it's good. That's not good. This is not avoided. What's the avoided? The rabbi just says, That's why you're doing it. A completely different thing. You're bochar to bachaim because the rabbi just said, That's ayah from Seichel. That's the idea of bochar to bachaim. 
Um, let's start again. Not a beer, but it. I think here for the mention. If a person gonna choose from Torah mitzvahs, but Zayim, Torah is an seich labon of idea as a Zayim chayim b'toy because the rei you see that it's good. Is that a mit noch nish ke noy with Hashem? The rei underline. If we are noy with Hashem, is that a alderim for avoid us Hashem? Is we avoid us or avoid the boy that this is the idea of avoid us Hashem. What's that? What's avoid la do you know? Also, I never do is just without them oil was I not not a female wife gilek. What is I ever doing? He doesn't understand. The, 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 the guy could tell him two things that doesn't make any sense. Tells him tomorrow to do the same thing. Doesn't matter. Why is he doing it? Because it, it, that's his order. And the father of the prayer has ordered him to remit time to the Messiah, the Kodesh Borchu, or Bochato Bachain. I ever is not understanding. I ever is doing because of Bochato. That's why the Torah says of Bochato Bachain. So I have, so the Rebbe has now another question. If Bochato Bachain. Time is enough. That is because Rebbe just told you. Why did you tell me rain or sati? Take out rain or sati. Just say it. Rebbe just said, "Bochar to bechaim." What's the rain or sati? Rebbe is going to answer. No, far them before it comes the idea of bochar to do it because the Rebbe still is the pasuk magdim rain or sati. It must be rain or sati. When I hear them tzivui of bochar to is the pasuk magdish of bochar to bechaim. Not only you rei, but also bochar to bechaim. When the Rebbe says that in Torah mitzvah is all doctrine and the ganze mitzvah is for mention. In the river, Moser is in Seichel by name and Mark is in a story of Mitzvah and Chaim. But if it's going to be only the Rebbe Shor, it's not good enough. It has to be again like by Torah that you saw the avoid is Mitzvah is Nevesh Kabbalah Sol. But you're going to learn. It has to be with Seichel. When you become Bar Mitzvah and your Seichel is developed, same thing is here also. The Rebbe knows how to live on Echo. It should penetrate through and through. What? Or Bochar to Bachaim that the Rebbe Shor gives it to you. So we have both. We have the end of Mitzvah is Nevesh Bochar to Bachaim. I'm doing it just because the Rebbe Shor said. But then when I'm doing it, I have to understand that and do it fully. It should take through, not, you know, when you have to be selfish, not always it's taking through all your limbs, all your body and everything. Oysters. Now we're going to come to the conclusion. The Rabbi is going to answer now. Why the Rabbi said, Nase Odom, very gishmak, very simple. In them, we have two years of Odom. In them, we have two years of Odom. Odom has in them two concepts. Tachlis ha-shleimus and prina seichel can also be given. Yeah, it becomes pony. It becomes a Odom, higher than Ish. There's Odom, Ish, Gvar, Enosh. Odom is the highest level. Then he's, then he's uh, Limko, and he could sell, and he could buy, and he could do everything. This is one thing. And interesting, we have a contradiction in the same word, in Odom. Odom, the Rebbe brings down from the from Medrash, Bereish, Rabbi, and Rashi brings it down. Odom is Oishes Meoid. When you twist around the letters, Odom becomes Meoid. Anybody knows what is Meoid? Meoid, Meoid. Bchina's bleak wool was his echo from Seichel. That's my. So in Odom itself, is Odom is the idea of becoming 20, becoming fully established, fully man. And from the other side, I say that it's higher than Seichel. How could it go together? And the Bchina in there mentioned, Rigs the Choysen and Vosser is a Medaber. Where do we see the idea that it's higher from Seichel? That is, we call us Medaber. Why do we call it Medaber? Why do we call it Odom? Why do we call it Odom? A person, why is it Medaber? Because the Rabbi brings out very Gishmak, where we say, Koyach Adibu. Come from the blig wool she benavshe was his echa for milas a seichel. In general, there's a seichel that it's seichel is. In chesed is brought down that Avram the man of the bar mitzvah that Avram Avinu was it. Oh, why? Because seichel you need quiet and it's for yourself. Midas needs somebody else. Not there. So the midas of Avram Avinu. Same thing is here. It says also the same thing that seichel is for yourself. When is Somebody else involved with you when it comes to Debo to speech. Speech is to reveal whatever you have in your mind, whatever you have in your nephew, you're revealing it to somebody with Debo. So Debo is bringing out the idea of ayah than Seich. So we see that in Odom, in the word Odom itself, we have the idea of Seich and ayah from Seich. Where is it? Now the Rebbe is going to say why we have both in Yonim. We both have both in Yonim, and we have both in Yonim. Yeah, it can't be that it should be cont contradicting. There's no way in the world that the Rebbe gave a word. Or the Rebbe should give a posik, and there should be contradicting Purushim on it. Odom is Seichel, and Odom is higher than Seichel. What's going on here? It can't be. We have all this bait in Yonim, and 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 we have all this bait in Yonim, because the Zechav is Zechav from Ish, as we established before, higher than Ish, Musa Ronkman's Messiah is Nefesh, Shilemai Lumea Seichel. It needs higher than Seichel. The Rebbe brings them beautiful from the Rebbe Rashab in Emshifayim Beis. A Seichel 
עצמי מכריח שיש למה אלה בני השכל. והמנש תינקס, הוא יכול להגיע לתוצאה קונקלוז'ן, הוא שכל, שזה המוס בטינק שזה עוד עוד עוד. So this is the idea. Even when you come to Odom, when you become a completed ish, it has to be in a way also eye of the seichel. Now so you're later, you say, now we're talking about the other side in seichel. Or you're going to be in life the koyach of Mishra's nefesh. When you ask them the Mishra's nefesh in the middle of my seichel, it says when you're a ish, you have to be Odom also. Now when you're Odom, you have to be ish also. Now so you're later, you say, or you're going to be in life the koyach of Mishra's nefesh in the middle of my seichel. So let's go to the middle of my seichel. So let's go to the middle of my seichel. So let's get satisfied with that. Now, as it must be said, as the Messiah of Snape will do it again. Do it again means that it should penetrate and take through. Or it's an echo of the Shabbat Shalom, as we learned in Sif Ches. For there are three levels. Is echo of Seichel. Is Seichel should also understand that not only Messiah of Snape, but Messiah of Snape should be penetrating all his, all his body, all his this, and starting from Seichel. And this is one of the remosim in the Mosmot Gizokt at Zabar Mitzvah, the Maimon Nasser Odom, and this is one of the hints that the Rabbi Maimon Nasser Odom. They came to show us, to wisen, to show us. As oich ve medagrech zu meilas ha-seichel v'adas. When you reach to the level of meilas ha-seichel v'adas, when you tell teen, that it's shaykh le midas, right? Before we said that a little child is only midas. Bar mitzvah you become seichel, that it's not only midas, shaykh le midas. Was damals verta geruf me ish, is es nish genug. Und er darf noch als onkumen zu der avoide, von nish charboi goi. As you need the idea of nish charboi, what is it? Kabola sol, mesir snefish, all the other things. אבוי דסא מסיר סנפש של מיילה מהסייכל, וזה תרבונדן מבחינת אודום, that it is אוי שש מויד. And we have a few minutes, so we'll continue. And it says, משתמוס טוב שינוי דלו בחגגס בר מצווה. We know, this is the only bar mitzvah that it was משתתף. It's talking about רב שלום ברגו רודצקי, that he just is still in his year that he passed away. And he was bar mitzווה in טוב שינוי דלו אלף. חוב בי סתמוס טוב שינוי דלו איז בר מצווה ועוז. And the Rebbe, sent his father two weeks before, he sent him to Morocco to open up Chabad and everything. And his mother was completely lost. His mother was Rabbi Shmuel Levit's daughter. Yeah. Yom Gordetsky is a son-in-law by Rabbi Shmuel Levit. So his mother came also from Lubavitch and from very high rank Lubavitch. But she said, what do we do? My bar mitzvah in two weeks. So she went to the Rebbe and said, the Rebbe, what to do? The Rebbe says, if you're going to keep it quiet, don't tell everybody, don't make a tumult from it. You make the bar mitzvah upstairs in 770. And I'm going to pay, and I'm going to come to the Bar Mitzvah. The Rebbe came to the Bar Mitzvah, and one of the reasons I'm saying my own, we could say that the Rebbe spoke so much about Mr. Snefesh to bring out the idea that the person, there's a video also, if anybody wants to look in a gem video and see what it tells about this Bar Mitzvah, Shalom Berger telling about the Bar Mitzvah, that he never read his father, he never, he never knew who his father is. And he says there are unbelievable things. He had a lot of fever and problem with the tonsils, and the doctor says that they must take it out. He took out the tonsils and he came home in the evening and the phone is ringing and his mother is picking up the phone to get to him. He takes the phone and he says, here is the Rebbe's sec our Rebbe's second name in his Mishpoch name. Uh, like to say, uh, I, I don't want to say, here is Yankel Schneerson. My father-in-law asked me, the Friedrich Rebbe asked the Rebbe, he didn't send a Gabi, he didn't send a Mishamesh. He sent the Rebbe to call up and ask how the child is doing after taking out the tonsils. It, it, unbelievable. So this is where the Friedrich Rebbe was still alive. Then in Tov Shin Yudalev, he was already, the Rebbe sent him to these places. And I think a little interesting, the Rebbe spoke by the Bar Mitzvah, besides the Mugur Dikisichet that came out from a speech by the Bar Mitzvah. The Rebbe says, my father told, told me about the great Mr. Snevish of, of, of his father, the Rebbe Rashab. The, uh, when it was the Veida on him, when there was the meeting of the Rabbonim in Petal, and there was a story that they wanted that everybody should learn the things that they, that they want, you know, public fear and all the worst things that it could be. Then they should turn to the young, they should feed it to the kids. And Chaz Sholem, finishing the Judaism, we're going to say that there's Chaz Sholem, no God in all these things. So there was mamish a fight that the Rabbonim, nobody wanted it. So the Rebbe says that in Shnaz Tov Rishayin, there was the meeting, and the Mr. Nefesh of the Rebbe's father, or the Friedrich Rebbe's father, is, tells the Rebbe, was wonders. It was unbelievable, the Mr. Nefesh. And no agbolus, no limitations to his Mr. Nefesh. And the Rebbe says, my father-in-law added on, the Friedrich Rebbe added on, that once he saw his Mr. Nefesh of his father, he couldn't hold himself back. He told his father, in a way, how did he translate Sachus in English? Joke. Another joke. Yes. Huh? Yes. Sarcastic. He said it in a sarcastic way. 
He told his father, you know, you have a muzzle. That Mr. Snefesh, there's no aloch in Shulchan Aruch of Mr. Snefesh. He tells his father, if Mr. Snefesh would have aloch in Shulchan Aruch, so we would be limited. Shulchan Aruch says when and what and what. Because it doesn't say Shulchan Aruch, so you could do it as much as you could probably always be Mr. Snefesh. Unbelievable. And if the rabbi is up to Shikha, we have to be Mr. Snefesh. But we should use the Mr. Snefesh in a good way. So as, as we are not in a rush, we can take another minute and read what happens with the story that the Friedrich Rebbe told the Rebbe, what happened then. So the story is a Mavlik story, and we could read it in a Fabrengen. There's a tape of Yudalef, you base Stamos, Topshin Yudalef. Rebbe said that the Friedrich Rebbe told them a story <laughs> that the, when it was in Petabuk, the meeting, as we said before, and also Rebchai, the Goin, Reb Chaim Brisker was also there. And, uh, and the Bemshore asked that we should learn that they have to learn some kind of ideas in Lemude Choil. Lemude Choil. How do you translate? Secular, secular subjects. And uh, obviously, what it means, secular subjects there, means Kfir Hashem. And the Manige Ador were very against it. And the Rebbe says, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was reasons, there was a few reasons that the Memshole was very strong about it. They're not giving up. You must do it. And, uh, and they said they want to make a a, a, hook, a law that everybody, every manik, every rob must learn all these things, the Lemud, the Lemud Echoi. And the Rebbe says, for the Asife, they sent a message from the Sarapnim, the inner minister sent a message to the, to the committee that they're going to sit in this, in, uh, in this committee, they're going to sit and decide if we're accepting it or not. So he said, if you're not going to take off your being against this, but I'm sure that the government is asking, Remember, we're going to make pogroms in, in Jews in 101 cities in Russia. They threatened. If you're not going to accept it, that was going to do. But by the end, by the end of the Asife, after all the Rabbonim spoke, and Reb Chaim, Agoin Reb Chaim Brisker also spoke, what the Rebbe said, so everybody says that they're not accepting it. But there was one thing. They all spoke very nice and calm. You know, the, we're not accepting it. We're not accepting it. So the Rebbe Rashab then asked, I want to speak also. The last one. The Rebbe Rashab stood up and he started saying with a, with a moiridike regesh, with a very passionate and very warm and very uh, excited. And he said, the same words that we know, the Friedrich Rebbe, when he came out of uh, jail and he went to Kastrama, he came to the train station. And before he left, what he said? He said it from the Rebbe Rashab, that the Rebbe Rashab said it by this Asife. What did he say? Not with our will we went to Golis, and not with our will we're going to get out of Golis. Only our goof is in Golis. Our neshome is not in Golus. Nobody has any ruling over our neshome. And in the, in the rest of the day, finished, and he said, also, it's forbidden to take this gzeire. And the Rebbe said, I don't know what he said. He finished with a very warm, artistic word. He doesn't say what it is. And he fell, he fainted. The Rebbe Rashab fainted. They took him out, they revived him, took him out of the Asifa, and he came. There was somebody there by the meeting that understood and knew everything that he was a spy from the government and came right away, told them what happened there, what the Rebbe Rashab did. And, um, and they said, as soon as you come to his room in the hotel, a uh, guard from the government should stay there and he's arrest. He's under house arrest. Masar Bai. As he was sitting in his room, the Prime Brisker, the going the Prime Brisker came to visit the Rebbe Rashab. He saw so that he fainted and revived him. He wanted to know how the Rebbe Rashab is. He came to ask him how he is. And he said, oh, the Rebbe Rashab is sitting on a chair in So he told him, the Babich Rebbe, we did everything we could. Everybody spoke and you spoke and we all said we're not going to accept it. Are you crying? Now we have to rely on the Abishter. So the Rebbe, the Rebbe said and answered him. The Rebbe said again, this is what my father He told him with a Mosul. There's a muscle, there is a business. And there's somebody who works in the business and there's the boss of the business. And their pocket is working all day, devoted. He gives over his life and he works because he's an honest worker and he does everything he needs. And if there is, if there is a time that there is business is hard, he works in harder. And it could be if somebody comes in and looks, he's going to see that the boss and the worker are working the same thing. Because it's what the only difference is when it comes to the worker goes on, forgets what's going on, he'll go to sleep and he has a nice good sleep. The boss, he goes on, he did everything but he could. 
He goes home, he's not sleeping. Why is he not sleeping? Because it's his business. That's what the Rebbe Rashab answered. And this is the idea of this sikhev that's connected to the sikhev that we just learned, with the idea of Mr. Snefish that Rebbe brought out so much Kabbalah soy, and not looking. You know, a, a person lives in Bor Hashem, he's having a son, he's a mitzvah in two weeks. No questions, no ask, no nothing. Goodbye, I'm leaving, I'm going to Morocco. It's, it's just amazing. Especially Rabbi Yom Gorodetsky that he worked for 70 years. He was devoted, devoted mamish, and he opened up. He was the Rebbe's Oibtschliach in Europe, in France, and also in, in Erzisrol, in Erzisrol also. The Rebbe should have to be zoich, 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 to be zoich